Okay, so this here is my Alexa drawer right here. This is the wider one. Um, and this here is my concealer collection. So I have them all divided up into different sections, which will go into each one. These little containers though are all from the Dollar Tree. They can be a little bit difficult to find. You can find them in the kitchen aisle typically on the floor, but they are amazing because they have this rubberized material that keeps them from moving around. So we'll go ahead and start off. This here is my concealer drawer. This here is more of my color correcting and my bronzers. Back here is just a collection of my Too Faced concealers. And then this here is concealers that I haven't used up. So we'll go ahead and get started in this section first. I have the first ones, which are the Born This Way concealers. I have Warm Beige, Sand, Natural Beige, and Light Beige. I use a different combination of them just depending on the time of the year. And I also do like to use them not only to highlight, but also to conceal. Right now I'm using Sand, which is this one right here, to conceal. I also do have the Revolution Concealer. This one here is in the shade C number three. So far I've been liking it. This is a little bit of a newer purchase of mine. I do have the Avon Concealer, which is a conceal stick and a bronzer stick. I'm not the biggest fan of the concealer though. I'm more of a fan of the bronzer stick. I just feel like it does a little bit better. This one here is by Catrice, which is also similar to the one by Avon. And this one also has a bronzing stick and a highlighting stick. I also do have the Urban Decay All Nighter Concealers. These are incredibly great for those of you guys who want a full coverage under eye or for spot concealing. These are amazing. They have a great formula to them and they are super long lasting. I also have two of the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Concealers. These here are particularly not my favorite formulas. I find them to be a little too lightweight for me. I have dark under eyes, so I really need something that's going to cover, but if you don't have anything that you're really looking to cover and you just wanna highlight, this might be an option for you. I have the Collab Beauty Concealer, and the one that I use is called Beige Tan. This one here is really great also. It's got a nice a medium consistency. The next one I have is the Makeup Forever HD Concealer. The shade that I use is shade Y31. This one here is really great, I think, a lot of people really used it and then the hype went really quickly and people forgot about it. The only complaint I have about this particular concealer is just the applicator of it. I always tend to put way too much on and I feel like I waste too much product out of this. I do have the Kevin Aquan concealer and then we also have the Wander Beauty concealer. This one here is a highlighter and a concealer stick on each End. So this is the stick and then you've got the um, highlighter on this side and it's an okay formula It's not my favorite product from Wander, but I've used it a few times and It just doesn't really do a whole lot for my skin The next one I have is the bare minerals a bare pro concealer This is in the shade medium neutral and this is a really great formula I actually really like this it tugs a little bit at the skin if you put it underneath the eyes as a highlighter but the coverage is really great. This one right here, which is the Catrice Cosmetics Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer. This one here is super full coverage, except it's a little runny. I was hoping to use it as something to highlight my brows with and kind of clean everything up underneath my brows, but it's just a little too runny for that. So I strictly just use it for underneath my eyes. I really like Catrice Cosmetics. I feel like they have really great products at a really affordable price. I want to say that this maybe retails for about three, four dollars. And the last one I have is the Smashbox Studio Skin 24 Hour Concealer. This I've never actually played with and it's not because I don't like it. I love the formula. I love the 24 hour concealers by Smashbox. I received this in my Ipsy bag and the color is just too dark for me. This is in medium dark and it oxidizes on my skin. So I can't use it as a spot concealer because it will show up or I can't use it as an under eye highlighter. I have purchased this in the past before though as an under eye highlighter and I really like it. So this is a great, great formula though. I just wish it was a little bit lighter for me. This here is my color corrector slash bronzing drawer. So as you guys can see, I primarily have a lot of the pro concealers 
for my skin. I am a huge fan of the Pro Concealers, not for highlighting underneath my eyes, but their color correctors and their bronzers are amazing. I have the yellow one, which I use a lot, the green one for my redness, and then the orange one I was using underneath my eyes, but now I kind of just, I don't really use it as much anymore. And then I have three of their bronzers. I have Beautifully Bronze, I have toast and espresso and so far toast is the one that I really like the most I was using beautifully bronze but my girlfriend is obsessed with this one right here and she swears by it so I started using it too the next one I have here is the NYX Cosmetics Color Correcting Concealer Palette. You guys can see which shades I use the most. I do dive into this palette. I've had this palette for a really long time. I really, really like it. I use these two shades more so than I use anything else, but the one reason why I like this the most is because it's got really good pigment, but it's not super pigmented that it's going to show through the skin and it won't be difficult to blend out. I also do have the Mali a Dark Circle Corrector. This one I've only played with a handful of times. It's a doe foot applicator. Um, it's an okay color corrector. I really don't see that much of a difference underneath my eyes. The next one I have is the NYX Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer Pot. This one is in the green, which I only use to cover up my redness from any acne that I have that is current. And it's a great, great formula. It's three to, three to $4, I believe, and it works really well. I also do have the Sephora Color Corrector. This one I don't like as much as I like my NYX ones. I've used this a few times. The pigmentation just really isn't there. And once you blend it out, I really feel like it fades away pretty quickly. And then I have the Burberry Contour. This here is in the shade medium number three. It's okay. It's not my favorite formula. I lied. I'm trying to be nice. I really don't care for this, to be honest with you guys. You guys can see like it just is way too orange for me and it doesn't blend out as nicely and it actually kind of patches up on me. But I try to use it still because it's Burberry and it's expensive. So the next one I have is the Concealer Spectrum Palette by Zoeva. This here, you guys have probably seen in my tutorials a long time ago because it is one of my favorite like concealer palettes to play around with. I really wish that Zoeva was easily accessible because I love their products. If you guys have not tried Zoeva products yet, you really need to. They have amazing products, amazing eyeshadows, brushes, everything about their collection is just really good. I love the shades right here. I play around with them the most to carve out my brows. Concealer palettes like this, I definitely would recommend this one. So these here are my Too Faced concealers. I've been just giving them away in random batches when I do giveaways. I ask what shade you guys are in and I try to find it. These are just what I have left. And then this is also my bin that I need to try out. Um, I have a few more of the CoverGirl concealers here. I also do have this right here, which is the Tarte Creaseless Concealer. I am not the biggest fan of this concealer. I find it to be a little too tacky for me. It's a very reminiscent of the Joa Beauty Concealer that I played around with and I did my one brand tutorial. It's just so tacky for me that it's very difficult to blend out. So I do have a few more of the Kevin Aquan concealers, which are their Supernatural concealers. And then in the very back, I have the LA Pro Girl concealer. This one here is in the shade of Porcelain. I just haven't dived into it. I tried to, I wanted to retry using it. I'll see about it, but it's just hanging out there. And then this very last drawer right here is my eye primers. So I always like to put my eye primers next to my concealers. I don't know why, I just that's just how I am. But I have the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue. This is my favorite glitter bonding agent to use. I have a eyeshadow base by Sigma. This here is in the shade Bubbly. I haven't used it yet, but it's really pretty, I think. I have an e.l.f. liquid lip primer. I don't really know why this is in here. This should be in a different drawer. And then I have a model's own glitter glue, which I haven't played around with yet, so we'll test it out pretty soon. And then I also have the Carity Pre-Shadow Anti-Crease Primer. This is surprisingly really good. I would actually recommend that you put this over a concealer because this isn't going to cover up any sort of darkness or discoloration you have on your lid. If you're simply looking for just an eyeshadow base primer, this is, a, this is one I really like and I really like the way that you apply it because it's got a doe foot applicator to it. So I like that. So that there is my concealer drawer. <sighs> Thank you so much for requesting to see it. And if you guys wanna see anything else, just let me know down in the comments. And before you guys head out, please make sure to subscribe and I will see you guys all later. Bye.